Yeah, yeah. Actually, this uh, this next song uh, brings back. Well, How are we doing that? Are we? <laughs> <laughs> That's what we agreed to. What was that you said before about staff? No man. <laughs> um, yeah, this, this next song. We, way way back uh, when we used to have the Lucky Duck Folk Club in Chester. Um, Road at the Oakland's Hotel. We had a guest artist on named uh, Christy Hennessy. Anybody ever see him? Yeah. 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 Super, wasn't he? He was sort of, he, he did sort of Irish ragtime at that time. He had long beard, long black beard, and long black hair. And he was a great character. And um, he sang this song, and it, it's a, a traditional song. And um, I asked him after. Of that song, and he stole it on the LP, and he handed me the LP, and um, I didn't think anything of it. I said, "Well, no." I said, "Let me pay you for the LP." And he said, "No, no, no," because he was actually a professional musician at the time. And what I did, I, uh, I I didn't actually pay him for it, but I never learned the song, and it's a song you've probably heard many times before. A song called Galway Shore. But anyway, Christy unfortunately passed away, but Christy became one of the most prolific producers of songs and music. Um, the Black family in Ireland, they, they recorded many of his songs, and uh, Mary Black included, and also um, Christy Moore. He, he actually became famous by doing one of his songs. And it wasn't until he died that we found out that he was actually illiterate. He couldn't read or write. And how he produced the music, you know, is absolutely amazing. But anyway. So, this particular song we, we dedicate to him anyway. So here we go. Near Aramore, in the county Galway, one pleasant evening in the heart of the May, I spied a damsel. She was young and handsome, or she nearly took my breath away. For she wore no jewels, no fancy diamonds, no paint, no powder, and no that all. And what she wore was a scarlet ribbon, and around her shoulders hung a downward way shore. As we were walking, she kept on talking until her father's cottage it came into view. She said, Come in, sir, and meet my father, and won't you play to please him, the farmer he do. Well, I played the blackbird, the stack of Ali, oh, all Rodney's glory and the body too and she sang each note like an Irish linnet until she is fell in her eyes of blue for she wore no jewels no fancy diamonds no paint, no powder on her own ah, but what she wore was a scarlet ribbon, and around her shoulders hung a downy Well, every early on in the morning, well, I hit the road for old Johnny Gone. She said goodbye, sir, and cried and kissed me, but my heart remains with a gown. For she wore no jewels, no fancy diamonds, no paint, no powder, oh, no, not at all. And the woman she wore was a scarlet ribbon, and around her shoulders hung the golden shawl. For she wore no jewels, no fancy diamonds. No paint, no powder, none, none, none at all. Ah, but what she wore was a 
was a scarlet ribbon, and around their shoulders hung a